Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It has been a while. Uh, man, it's been probably a couple weeks now since I've made a video. I apologize. Been uh, traveling with the family and then we just came back from camping. So, anyways, uh, I've got a couple of requests about how do I sharpen knives. And so, um, I, I'm going to start with the work sharp. This thing, this is the, the Ken Onion version, but um, super easy to use and uh, super quick. So if I'm if I just need a, a quick and dirty sharpening, this thing does the trick. Um, I I use some other things as well. So I have another. This is my field sharpener if I just need something quick while I'm out backpacking or something. Um, and then I've got a Lansky, Lansky sharpening system that we'll use later on. But uh, if you remember, got this knife in the monthly knife club, and it had some damage. To the blade down here um, so like right in there there is a divot and so that that bit is not sharp up here is sharp but down here not so much so we're gonna fix that using this guy so um, it's a belt driven system um, pretty easy to use what I so these are the guides on either side here and they're, they're kind of dirty because I've been sharpening stuff and didn't clean it up but um, anyways just to make sure that I don't get any scratches on that nice finish um, I just put a little painters tape on here just to keep everything nice and protected that way I don't look at it and start swearing after I'm done so we'll get this all taped up here and then we'll be back okay, now that we got the knife taped up what we're gonna do is um, basically there's just a little little lever back here that you push up on and that releases the tension. And, and so we got different grits, uh, basically it's sandpaper. Um, so this is the extra coarse, coarse, medium, fine, extra fine. Um, and then you can get these uh, replacement kits when, when they start getting worn out. Um, so I think I got, this one's pretty worn out. I mean, it, it probably has a little bit of life left in it, but it, you know, once you start using it and then the, uh, the knife's not getting sharp when you run it through there. That means your thing is is done. Also, if it starts looking shiny, that's another key. So that means that you got a lot of a lot of uh, metal in there that is clogging it up, clogging up your your sandpaper, and it's not going to work very well. So uh, it does come with this handy dandy little guide. And when you look through here, it tells you about different knives and different settings. Um, and so, you know, you can set it to whatever angle you want. It's on the back here. You can set it, you know, it's, it's, it's in increments of five degrees, but, um, you know, in between there, you know, you can make it, you know, so if you want it 22 and a half degrees, you put it at that mark. So pretty easy to use, and you can kind of eyeball it for, you know, if you want like 22 degrees or 21 degrees, whatever it is. Um, this kind of gives you some standards on, you know, the, the angles that most are, but, you know, it's up to you. You can make it whatever freaking angle you want. And then the speed, low to medium. So there's a speed control here on the bottom. Um, you just rotate that so that's faster or slower. And then that basically when, you know, when you pull, pull the trigger, it'll limit, you know, what, what, how fast it's going to go. So if you want it to go slower, you just turn it down, turn it down some more. So that's, that's about a, a nice medium speed there. All right, so there we go. So we're at a medium speed, which is what most of these things require. Um, you know, except for the, you know, if you got a kitchen knife cleaver, I mean, this is almost that, but we're not, we're not gonna be, uh, well, I don't know, maybe we'll, we'll do, we'll do a high speed, just cause it looks like a cleaver. And 30 degrees, that's probably what I was gonna put on there anyways. So we will turn this dude up, well, Yeah, we'll turn it up to 30. We'll give it a 30 degree angle. Cool. All right, so we're at 30. Top dead center here is 30. See that little notch? That's how you know where it's at. Um, then you got a guide here um, to run your blade along. So everything is super easy. We'll turn the speed up. That's uh, gonna go a little bit higher. There we go. Cool. All right, so then you know, it tells you how many strokes that you want to put on each of the the different grits. 
Um, because this has some damage, we're starting with the extra course, which isn't on here, that, um, but the extra course will be a little bit more aggressive. Um, so you, ha you have these guides, basically you just lean the knife up against, against the guide so that it's touching on that side. And then all you do is, uh, is pull the knife through as you're spinning. You know, pull it straight through. You don't, you don't need to push down or anything. You just pull it straight through nice and easy. Just, uh, and just hold it nice and steady. This one's gonna be, this one's gonna be very easy because there's no curve to the blade. I'll show you a curved blade here in a minute. But uh, anyway. I like to start with like you know ten poles on 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 each side, and then go from there. Um, and you don't want to pull it too fast because um, you need to make sure you're getting contact here. About an inch per second is what you should strive for. Turn it down a little bit. That was a little bit too fast. Boop. There we go. Okay. So now we've done about 10 pulls on, on the one side, so we should, I mean, this is D2, so we may not feel the burr yet. Um, get a little bit of one. Yeah. So we'll do a couple more pulls, and then we'll go up to the other side, and we'll do the same number of pulls on that side. Should, uh, shouldn't see the damage anymore, which it appears to be gone. I don't see that little divot anymore, so we have ground enough material away that that is not an issue anymore. Um, so before we move to a different grit, um, we are gonna just go ahead and check and make sure that it's cutting. Because uh, if, it's, if it's not decently sharp now, then you need to keep going. So, um, I'm not sure if that's on camera here. Let me move that over here. But it is, it is pretty, pretty freaking sharp. So, um, we can. This means we can safely go to. Well, we can safely go to the next grit. Um, there you go. So, all right. I get the. I'll get the course on next. All right, we got the course on. We're gonna do six to 10 pulls per side. And all this is doing is just slowly refining the edge, putting a uh, higher polish on it. All right, so now you can see we're getting kind of a mirror polish on there. So it's uh, it's looking shiny. One more belt here. Do the extra fine. You don't, I mean, you can stop wherever you want. I mean, if you have a finish on there that you say, all right, that's good enough at medium, ready to rock and roll, you can stop there. Um, and definitely you don't want to use the, uh, the coarse grit. That's a 120 grit 
unless you have damage. Um, that takes off a lot more material, so that's why we started with that, because this, this knife started with some damage right there. Um, but we got that all fixed. Everything looks good now. So we're just gonna do one more pass here with the extra fine. So there is our finished product there, and uh, it's got a nice, nice finish on that edge. Um, let me get the uh, let me get the paper out again. We'll do a final, final test on the cutting. Oh, I guess I should say, um, you, know, you can you can strop it if you want, just a little bit um, after you're done. Just make sure your angle is shallower than the um, angle at which you are sharpening at. And make sure you get the whole edge. I'm gonna do a few strops on here. All right, let me get my paper again, I dropped it. Okay, we'll go ahead and just see how she cuts here on this paper. So, razor sharp. Razor sharp. I mean, just. Woo. Do that all day. So, anyways, you can make make ribbons with your paper okay, like that. Okay. For uh, field sharpening, um, I use the Work Sharp field sharpener, and uh, no, I don't have any relationship with Work Sharp. I, they don't give me anything. I buy this with my own money. I just happen to like their product, so that's that's all that is. Um, you remember the $5 Friday night knife from a couple weekends ago. This is the uh, Bushmaster version. Uh, anyways, this is super easy because if you want a 20 degree angle, then you're already set up. So it's got this 20 degree guide on it. You just lay your blade up flat against that. Uh, it's got a little spot for your thumb back here. And then you just move the blade across it like that and you know, make sure you get all the way to the tip. So you just kind of rotate the knife as you go down, but super easy. You just count how many times you do it. Try and do like around 10 on this side. And then we'll do this side, going the other way. Same thing, and you know, it's got two different grits, so this is obviously the coarse, and then you got a fine on that side, but <clears throat> Start with the coarse, unless um, it's already got a decent edge on it and you're just kind of touching it up, trying to get it from sharp to razor sharp, then you move straight to the uh, straight to the fine side. And because I've been talking, I haven't really been counting, so I don't know if that's 10 or not, but it feels like 10, so we're gonna go back to the other side and do 10 more. And uh, just doop, doop, doop. This and this, this, this. I'll do a couple more. Boop, boop, boop. Gotta get the sound effects in there. And we'll go this way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. Okay, so then you end up with an edge that looks like that. Uh, I don't know what angle it had on it before, but it's got a 20 degree bevel on it now. And um, yeah, you, know, you can see it's kind of kind of coarse. Um, get some some of those scratches in there. But <clears throat> then you flip this guy around. Repeat. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Back this way. One, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then finally one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. So then your ed look, edge looks um, a little bit better. So uh, still, you can still see those scratches in it because yeah, this isn't ultra fine or anything. This is just for this is for field sharpening when you just need a usable edge. And so uh, you know, oh, I guess you know it does have a strop on it too. So you can you know just do a little a little stropping. It when you're done, you go around the side again, just you know, shallower angle than what you were sharpening at, so you don't round off the edge that you just put on there. But uh, just nice and easy, do a few strops on there, try and get all the way to the point if you can. All right, good enough. Okay, so let's see if we got nice, nice edge, very nice. So you know, when you're out backpacking or whatever, and you know, life's getting a little dull, the uh, the work sharp field sharpener, you know, the, it'll put put a pretty decent edge on there. You know, totally, totally, uh, totally usable edge. You know, so. You have, Messed it up there, but need another page. It's getting all all tore up here. Need another page here. Work another page out of this Bud K magazine. There we go. We got uh, yeah some knives. <laughs> all right, so one more cut. Ooh, nice little nice little tail there. But yeah, totally usable. All right, so then we'll do the Lansky. Okay, so for the Lansky system, you get a bunch of stones, and they have different sets, so you can get different grits and whatnot, but it, it has them on here. So this is gonna be the extra coarse down here all the way up to the ultra fine. So, you know, again, if you're putting a new bevel on there, or correcting some chips and damage or whatever, start there. Otherwise, you can start coarse and move up. Um, since we just put a 20 degree on here with the work sharp, we'll just go ahead, we'll start medium. We'll start it with a medium. And then, um, you know, I use these quite a bit. So um, you can put a little honing oil and lift some of that stuff on there and it'll, it'll wipe right off. Get our towel. So, anyways, that then you can, you can get a get your stones unclogged here with all that mess of metal in there that you scrape off from your knives. All right. So what you want to do is you want to pull one of these guys out, and then you want to stick this up through the hole, and you want to put it on a fairly level surface here, and make sure everything's kind of lined up flat and then tighten that down. Okay, so then this should all be one surface there. And then what we'll do is we'll pull this out. And um, you can't, you know, if you're worried about the finish of the knife, um, which on this $5 knife I'm not, you can put some masking tape on there to protect the finish. But for me, uh, not so, not so interested in that. So uh, I need to get a screwdriver. Okay, so what you're going to do is just put this kind of in the middle of the spine back here, and then you just want to tighten this up so it doesn't move. Okay, and tighten it just a little bit more because it's still not quite tight. There we go. And then, so you, now you can hold it like this and use it, 
Um, but I sprung for the little stand, so you can actually set that right on the stand, and then you've got your you've got a few different angles here. So 17, that's for kitchen knives. 20 degrees, that's what we're going to use. 25 and 30. Those are more for like outside knives, like your SE knives. Um, but anyway, so we're going to go ahead, and since this one's all set up, we're going to put it through the 20, our guide rod. And then all you're going to do is just move up the blade with your stone. And you want to count how many times you do this. So that's three, four, and we'll just do 10 again. Five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. Heck, we'll go twenty. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Okay, so then we're gonna go to the other side. Let's flip it over just like that. Stick it through the 20 degree hole. And we're just gonna do the other side. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. We'll get this tip a little bit. 13, 14, 15. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. All right, good enough. <clears throat> so you can see you got your medium grit finish there. Um, still see a lot of the, the cuts and stuff in there from the stone. Um, you know, we'll do, we'll do one more, one more pass here. Just, just. than the work sharp, but it's still pretty easy. Um, so we're gonna put that away. We're gonna get out our extra fine. Again, put these things away dirty apparently, so uh, trying to wipe some of this crap off there. Much better, okay. Now we can put the guide rod through there. Maybe, there we go. Loosen it up, there we go. And we'll put that thusly through the 20 degree hole again. Okay, and so one thing I did want to point out is I'm only going this way when I'm cutting. So when I come out this way, I'm not touching the blade. When I go back this way, that's when I'm touching the blade. Okay, so you don't want to you don't want to be going back and forth, back and forth like that. That's that's no good. You want to do just towards the blade, just towards the blade. So not touching, touching, not touching, touching. Okay. All right. So there we go. And we will put that aside, and we'll see if we can get this thing off of here by unscrewing that. There we go. That way. All right. Wipe our blade off there, and we'll see if we still have a nice edge. Yep. Okay. Get to not rough part of the paper here. Yep. There we go. Well, let me get a piece of paper. This one's pretty cut up. All right, there we go. 
Very nice edge. I get it. Very nice edge. Okay. And you can see with the finer stones, you get a nicer finish on there that's not got such deep cuts in it. So, anyways, she's sharp. So that's that's the name of the game. So that's those are the primary methods that I that I sharpen my knives. You know, I also still have my. Um, well, I actually bought this. You have, you guys haven't seen this. Another uh, sharpens best doohickey sharpener. So yeah, I still use that too, um, just for touch-ups mostly. Or if I'm on the on the run and don't have my field sharpener or anything like that, I will keep that in my pocket sometimes. Um, but yeah, totally, totally nice edge. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed. I know this is a long video, but you know, it takes a little bit to, to sharpen a knife, so especially one with D2 steel. So, anyways, um, thanks for watching, and we'll be back with a new $5 Friday night knife this week. So, stay tuned for that. And uh, I think I got a battle box coming on Tuesday, so probably look into that. So, thanks for watching.